Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In today's demo, I am going to show how we can mitigate OWASP API security top 10 2023 risks using distributed cloud platform. Before jumping into API security, let's look into some key points on APIs. APIs are the latest innovation observed in our modern application architecture. API is a contract between two systems so they can interact with each other. They follow different set of rules and protocols for transfer of data between them. With the introduction of Docker and microservices, APIs have gained immense popularity and their adoption dramatically increased in last decade. Along with their advantages, experts have found different issues or flaws in these APIs. Hackers are able to exploit them by penetrating through their application flaws. OWASP is an open source community which deals with these common application attacks. They identify new vulnerabilities in the applications as well as maintain the existing ones. They do some kind of research on these issues and come up with recommendations to prevent these vulnerabilities. Developers, they can integrate these best practices as part of their secure product development lifecycle. In 2019, OWASP has uh, triaged these common issues into 10 categories and released the first edition of API Security Top 10. And recently in 2023, a new edition of API Security Top 10 is released. If we look closely into these categories, we can see that some of them are renamed, some are deleted and some are also added. In today's demo, let's pick a vulnerability and see how we can mitigate it using distributed cloud warp. For example, broken object property level authorization and how to prevent it. This newly added category, it has grouped couple of 2019 categories which are excessive data exposure and mass assignment. This category focuses on identifying the flaws exposing sensitive data like user information related like credit card numbers and social security numbers. FI distributed cloud, it is able to detect and protect this vulnerability. The solution that is provided in distributed cloud is WAP, which is a SaaS offering provided to protect the APIs against these application threats using different features like web application firewall, bot protection, API security, and DDoS mitigation feature. As part of today's demo, I am showcasing a URL endpoint which hosts the product reviews. This endpoint is exposing the sensitive credit card and social security numbers as part of response data. We don't want this personal data to be visible and want to prevent this specific vulnerability. Now let's see how WAP is able to prevent this vulnerability. For time being, I have already uh, logged into the distributed cloud account and I have onboarded the backend application as well as created the load balancer. Let's look into the configuration. So uh, this is the load balancer domain name and if we navigate to the web application firewall, we can see that WAF is enabled as well as the data guard. Data guard is a WAF uh, feature which is able to detect and prevent the sensitive information in the response data. As of now, I have configured one rule which is pointing to the endpoint where this application vulnerabilities exist. Now let's try to see if the same vulnerability exists using the load balancer domain. If we resend the request, uh, we can see that uh, these social security numbers as well as the credit card numbers, they are being masked, thereby preventing this specific vulnerability. That's all for today. Thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more OWASP videos.